Uh, so here we're going to do a demonstration of a lash cam, how to use it in your practice. It has lots of uses. Uh, you can use it in the classroom, you can use it uh, during makeup application, during adding lash extensions, all kinds of uses. But we're going to talk about using it in the office for doctors to diagnose blood loss, to show the patient the blood loss. So the first thing you want to do is just turn it on, obviously, and make sure it's fully charged. It's got to be fully charged. Once it's turned on, eventually a green light's going to come on. When the green light comes on, you know the Wi-Fi is working. If the green light doesn't come on, it might need more charge because the LED will come on by itself, but if the charge isn't high enough, the Wi-Fi will so have a fluid. You'll think it's on, what's wrong with it. Check for the green light. So the green light's flashing now, so the Wi-Fi's on. Then you want to go to your dedicated iPad, Android device. And you want to look for the Wi-Fi signal. And you'll start with L-A-S-H, LASH. That's easy. Once it finds that Wi-Fi signal, then they'll connect with each other. And then you go to your LASH Cam app. It's a little app. You're going to get that on the Google Play if it's Android, or the Apple Store if it's a Mac device. And click on your LASH Cam app. And now you can see that we've got signal. You have to have that app downloaded on your device before you even attempt to connect your devices. Okay. Now, I'm going to demonstrate it on myself and then I'll demonstrate it on you. If I'm demonstrating it on myself, I've got to turn it all around backwards. You can see the phone here. The big ring is the focusing knob. So that's our, our main focus. You can see my lashes there. And you can take pictures. I'm taking pictures with that button right there, right up at the front. If you want to zoom in and get a more magnified picture, there's your optical zoom right there. So now let's zoom in. It goes up to about 80 mag. Now I said the main focus is right here. There's not an autofocus, it's a manual focus only. The reason is autofocus, it can just really be all over the place. So you want to do your main focus here, and then for fine tuning focus, you simply just push in or pull it out a little bit on the camera. And that's your fine tuning. Once you have a focus and stamp your pictures. So now if I'm actually the doctor using it, you're not demonstrating it to you, you're gonna hold it like this and go up to the patient. So now middle finger focuses. Index finger takes pictures, and index finger also reaches back and does optical zoom here. It's important when you come up to the patient that you have the focusing knob at your three o'clock. Three o'clock. That, that gets you oriented correctly here. So now you be the patient. You hold this up in front of you, just like the patient sitting in the chair. And thank you very much. <laughs> Now we're going to manual focus. There we go. I see biofilm. It's that shiny crinkly. We all have biofilms. Depends on how long you've had it. And you just take a lot of pictures because a lot of them are going to be out of focus. You just use the focus your upper lids, you just tip it up with the upper focus in here. And then once you have all the pictures you want to take, then you go to your picture file on the device and you review the pictures with the patient. So here's your upper lids, and you just scroll until you find some that are nicely focused. What we're looking for, obviously, is the biofilm. If you're looking for Demodex, you can see Demodex with this. 
feel like I've been swelling around the lashes. Zoom in, zoom out. You see the swelling around the lashes a little bit. We all have some degree of that. That's shiny, crinkly, that's the biofilm. Yours isn't that bad. Probably our best picture right there. And your patients, you see at the salt lamp with this horrible biofilm accumulating everywhere, that would be a much more impressive picture for the patient. Mm -hmm. In addition to capturing the pictures on your device, then you can take that picture and send it out an email, maybe an office email, then you can put it to their patient's folders. You can send it directly to the patient. The patient can store it on their device. You can text it to them, you can email it to them. So you just tap the picture and hit the little send button. And then let's say I want to send send it to you. If I could just message it right to your phone. And what's your phone number? I'll send it to you. Now you got your picture covered.